Hey guys, I'm Rex TPS, and the company me today is Amos. Hello. And today, basically, what we'll be doing is, I'm sure you may know that uh, there's been a recent update to GTA where you can get a golden revolver known as the Double Action Revolver. That'll be this one. And there's leaves in the way, brilliant. Right, there we go. Yeah, as you can see demonstrated by Amos, uh, when you press L1 whilst holding it out, you will do a unique uh, unequip with the weapon. Instead of just simply as you would with the heavy revolver, you just place it in. With ooh, with the double action, you'll do some spinny stuff with it. Alright, so that's the first unique attribute to the revolver, but we're not just looking at the revolver today. We'll be I'll be showing you how to get it. By showing you, I don't mean taking you step by step, because as you can see we've already oh, we've already done it. I can't redo those steps, but I will take you through the set parts of getting a revolver, but there are some certain things that will change. Let's look at each other like, hello? <laughs> right, so, we've forgotten our bikes. The first thing you'll have is a email from someone called v uh, Vanderlyn at ifind.com, I think. I think that's what the email address is. And he'll send you a, an email of a picture. Um, the three pictures I can confirm for you that I've had, JD's had, and Amos has had, is a, a picture of the pier in Los Santos. Uh, Mount Chiliad and um, Los Santos Graves, uh, Graveyard, the one where you take where the uh, mission uh, Lost RIP, I believe it's called, takes place, uh, where you got to eliminate a load of the lost members. And um, yeah, those are the three confirmed locations I can give you. You may have one of them. You may have something different. If it's the Lost uh, MC uh, mission location, so the graveyard, it'll be on one of the gravestones. Can't remember exactly which one. They all look the same. It's on a big white one, I believe. Uh, Mount Chiliad, it'll be on that big desk that you get at the very top of the mountain. And then uh, in the pier, it'll be under the pier on one of the pillars, uh, up on the sand, not in the water. So there's those loca uh, locations for you. If you get anything different, I'm afraid I can't help you on that. I don't know. Once you acquire that note, it'll say something brief. I didn't take a picture of it, so I can't, I can't remember exactly what it says. But um, basically saying how the treasure tore his family apart and uh, used some colourful language and then says that we're never going to find the treasure. Once you locate that letter, it'll take you here, into this cave. And right there, as you can see, it's not there, but right there will be a dead body. Uh, stripped down to his tighty whities and it'll have a big hole in his head where it looks like either he killed himself or was shot by someone. I imagine killed himself because anyone who knows about weapons will know shooting someone in a confined space like this will probably make your ears ring for hours. So I wouldn't see the logic in someone shooting out someone else there. I mean, out here would do just the trick really because the mountains will make the sound echo to the point where it would be hard to pinpoint where it came from. So I reckon that was a suicide. After that then, what I'll do, I'll, I'll see I fast travel, I'll just stop the video and restart it because you won't want to see me get in there. I'll show you where the next, the second out of three locations are for the next clue. Alright guys, so once you get past the first step, the first uh, part in the cave and you find the first clue, press and mark on the D-pad will, act, uh, the D will activate this clue. You then come to Sandy Shores, not far from Trevor's Trader. You go around the back and to this shack here, or what's left of it, will, uh, will be where you find your second clue. Technically third, if you count the first thing you find as a clue. All right, these people won't be there when you get there. What will be there is this chair, this radio, and a blood-soaked shovel about here with a little blood splatter on the floor. That'll be where you find the second clue. Not far from here, then, will be the uh, third and final clue before you actually find the gun itself. Aww. Right, so guys, once you get past the, uh, the second clue, you'll arrive here at the third clue. It took me a while to find this for how simple and basic the actual clue was, but um, I looked down there and everything. Where the clue is, is by this tree. Uh, it's a box, an open box, where you'll find the shape of this revolver. If I just pull out the camera a bit, there we go. The shape of this revolver and six slots to stick bullets in. I imagine the bullets that would be used in a revolver like this. Now, there are the three clues. Once you find the final clue, it'll activate the box. The box will contain this weapon. It's a very nice looking gun as you can see. It's gold with a white grip. Now, for those who have played Red Dead Redemption 1, um, you'll know that the double, the double action revolver is black with a white grip. 
Now, what lets this gun down a bit on here, aside the fact that it's gold, I know a lot of people like golden guns. In my view, I reckon the black tinted uh, double action revolver should have been kept and not the gold one. Because the gold one looks nice, but both Amos and JD has both got this. As you can see there, JD's holding his out. And it's, it's just, it's nice until everyone's got one, if you know what I mean. So, I reckon they should have kept the black, but they didn't. Anyhow, they did uh, put a nice uh, decoration on the gun. As you can see on the cylinder and on the body of the gun, a bit on the grip and all. Uh, it's really nice, and for those who want to, I, ideally, I should have said this at the start, but for those who want to do most of this on their own, and not have the assistance of what I've been saying, um, when you get close to wherever your clue is, you'll hear a, a chime sort of noise, uh, and the louder it gets means the closer you are. After you find that third clue, it'll take you somewhere on the map where the box is. You'll find the box itself, a shovel, and two dead rednecks. I call them rednecks, so because that's pr pretty much what they are, or hillbillies, however you'd like to call them. It's what they're dressed as on here, so it's what I call them as, as they are. But yeah, you'll hear that chime, and that's when you get close to the clue. So it's not a bad gun. Um, I used it a lot back in Red Dead Redemption. Uh, for those who did as well, it's a lot faster than what it is. I'll, sh I'll demonstrate on the side of the road now, as I'll shoot the gun to show you how slow it is compared to the double action revolver in Red Dead Redemption. This is me constantly clicking the trigger as fast as I can. So that's significantly faster than the heavy revolver. As you can see, there's a lot more recoil on the heavy revolver. So, but, and obviously it lacks in power compared to the heavy revolver. But you'll notice that the sound is exactly the same from Red Dead Redemption. It's the same noise that it made. And it's a, it's a really nice gun. It is a really nice gun. And I'm glad they brought it back onto GTA 5 from Red Dead Redemption. It is specifically from then, because as you may see if you're on recently, you'll see that it's labeled, um, oh, I don't know what it's labeled, a double action I think it's called is labeled as and if you'd, rec you'd recognize the font from Red Dead Redemption 1. So thanks guys for watching, uh, it's been Amos, JD and your host Rex for TPS. Thank you very much for watching, I hope this video did help you to find the double action revolver if you haven't already. Thank you. Alright hey guys, um, so this video will just be showing you basically how the double action is in combat. Because a heavy revolver has got a lot of power but not a lot of mobility, it's hard to use in close quarter combat. I'll be using this on a high setup, one of which we cannot fail as we're doing a criminal mastermind, which means taking a big risk here just for the entertainment of you lot. You're welcome. So, um, yeah, I'll be showing what it is. It's obviously it's a revolver, so it's not exactly a very quick paced moving weapon, like. So, you know, it does a lot of this gun, like, worthness is dependent on how you are with weapons. As you can see though, you've got plenty of time. Obviously we're against CPUs, not uh, players. So I will have time to do all the different bits I'm doing, you know, like the aiming first and then the slowly moving up to shoot. You, you know, you have time to do that against uh, the CPUs. But the players, I haven't tested it on, so I can't really tell you how it would be on that. But, right, I got one bag of the cup by the way, guys. Um, but yeah, it's not a bad gun, and it's just basically a quick little video just to show you what it'd be like uh, when you get it, and if you want to use it, you know what you're, you know, what, you know what you're using then. Um, as I said in my last video about this revolver, it looks nice. It does look pretty nice. I do prefer the black on it, but it, like from Red Dead Redemption. But there we go. Can't be too picky with what they give you. At least we got it back. I think that's the main thing. But um, yeah, as I said as well in my last video, it's not as powerful as a heavy revolver, but you can see it's still getting a message across. It doesn't just hit them down, it knocks them clean off their feet. So it is a pretty powerful gun. Oh, I just picked up another one. And worth the time. It doesn't take that much time to get, and you're not spending any money getting it. So it's definitely worth getting, there's no doubt about that. Um, nice gun though, yeah. So yeah, I'll, I'll just shut up for a bit and let you see what it's like just so you can get a quick feel on it before you actually get to use it then I think the middle floor is clear guys move up should we kill the witnesses are we killing the witnesses guys are we killing the witnesses okay Oh yeah, get to the lander pad and clear it out. Yeah, a lot of this gun does rely on all aim. I do have that on. 
Uh, I won't lie, I, 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 I won't take shame in using auto-aim, which rhymes by the way, but um, I do use it quite a bit and I reckon it's more recommended for this gun. If you can shoot this with pinpoint accuracy on manual aim, then you know, hats off to you, it, it, you know, credit where credit's due. Oh, where am I getting shot from? Oh, there's a bloody chopper. How long has that been there? Oh, I should probably open my eyes a bit more then. But yeah. Uh, if you've got manual aim and you're hitting all these shots like I am, even though I've missed a couple, then you know, fair do seal. Oh yeah, I did forget to say as well, as well as the revolver update, the uh, Rockstar's little Christmas gift, seeing it is near Christmas, has uh, refilled every option for armor there is, every single thing of armor, they've refilled it for me. And they've done it also to aim off to JD. So that was a nice little thing from Rockstar. Right, where's that? Oh, that one's down. We missed that one. What's your left, Jung? Where are you? Oh, I see you. Hello. Right, we've got two left on the lower decks. The chopper's safe, isn't it? You didn't crash that. Wicked. Uh, I'll give him a little shout out scene area. Featured in this video. Oh, I'll get the one on the... No, I'll get the one on the lower deck than the deck first time. Um, and this we got I'm the Ginger Ninja, which I'll class him as his name, so I don't know what other name he wants me to class him by, I guess Ginge would do, but there we go. Uh, obviously me Rex, and then you've got Amos and JD, as featured in the last vid uh, video about the revolver. So I think that's pretty much everyone cleared out now, so yeah, you get an idea of what this revolver is like, it's really nice to look at, and really nice to use, really smooth to use, you know? Not like the revol heavy revolver where it's really blocky, you know, you shoot and then you wait, you shoot and then you wait. This, you can kind of keep moving after you shoot. So it's, it's a gun well worth getting. I don't know if they'll take this DLC down after a certain time, and if they do, I suggest you get this as soon as you can. So thank you for watching, guys, on TPS.